What is up, everybody? Welcome into the video of Tech Express. My name is Steven, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the block editor of the WordPress. So if you're just a beginner, if you're getting started here into WordPress, you don't have to worry about this. I'm going to be covering you the basics so we can have like a solid block or like a solid website depending on what you're actually trying to do. The process is exactly the same. The result is depending on what you're actually aiming for. So let's just get started. The very first thing you want to do is to go directly into the WordPress.com and you want to sign it up or sign it in using your account. As you can see, I'm already in here and I have a free domain plan. So I am not going to be focusing into plans that we have a lot of development. We can do this with a free custom mode. So you don't have to worry about to invest into uh, or to pay for one, two, three dollars. We are not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing everything totally for free. So uh, what I wanted to do is to go here into my home. And now, as you can see, we do have a site, right? We have visit site. Of course, we don't have absolutely anything here. And what I want to do is to get started with a new site. So focused into the pages. So here into pages, I have all my pages and I have published, draft, schedule and trust. So now what I want to do is to get started with the very first part of my blog or my website. We have a default the home page inside the home page. We have the contact and the about. Let's focus into the home page first. So I click there into the edit your home page. I go into the three dots and hit into edit. This one is going to be sending us into the administrator side editor of WordPress. So this is the part where we wanted to start with the actual design. So whether you want to choose here, the style, the template or the template parts. So I choose this style and here a powerful new way to style your site. So I'm going to go into the X mark and focus into if I want to see this like a default cream or white. I want to focus here into cream and hit into save. Now I want to go into save. I'm sure I wanted to save it like that. I hit now back. And now I do have a few templates. I can go into the home. I hit into edit. And we are now inside the editor of the blocks of WordPress. So I'm going to hit into skip because we already know how to do this. I'm going to be showing you how to get started here. So since we are into the home page and the upper side is the Heather, here is my content, my description or the body, as you might be saying. And down here is my footer. So I want to focus into the very upper side and go first with Heather. I'm going to hit now into edit. And now, as you can see, there's actually like not a lot of stuff to edit. But let's say, for example, my custom uh, store name. So it's the express. And if I click here, I have the about and the contact. So I think that I can edit this. I hit into edit and this one should be sending me into the editor. So navigation menu successfully uh, created. So I have now the about the contact instead of about let's go and delete this and change it for blocks. And contact let's go about us. So I go a little bit down. And now we have the header saved it. So I'm going to go now back. And now I wanted to add a new block here. I wanted to add my socials here. So I went here into the plus side and I have the block insert. Here have a lot of patterns, the blocks and the media. Let's focus into blocks. Here into blocks, I can add a list, a specified code, a preformatted, a burst table, even like an image. So if you scroll a little bit down, we have a more than just a template. And this is the part what I was actually looking for the actual gallery. So when to display multiple images in a very great way. So I just need to drag and drop. And here is my block. Now down here, I wanted to make a video, I want to add a video, actually just right below this actual block. Now check it out that we do have this red tiny button that says upgrade to premium to use this premium block. So if you want to use this block, we needed to have the premium block, the premium plan in order to use it. So since we are having a free version, I wanted to delete this block and choose something else that I can add without having to use the actual premium block. So I'm going to go and focus into the one that not has the red button. For example, there's an audio that I can use for free. So I copy and paste here. And then I'm going to scroll with the image compare like that. 
And lastly, I think that I'm gonna go with the slideshow, but a little bit down with the chapter two of my actual uh, information. There we go. So first of all, what I do like to do is to input all the blocks first, and then later on I can customize this as I am editing my actual WordPress. So, and lastly, we have the AI experimental side. And lastly, I'm gonna go into the button. So I'm gonna add just a button and I'm gonna move this button, let's say, a line into the middle. Justify themes, right. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go into the center part. And here, let's go for learn. So it's actually looking great, right? So here now, into the actual editor section, I'm gonna go and scroll all my way up and start to editing as I am now getting started. So here into the gallery, I hit into upload. And here, I'm gonna upload just one product that I just add here. There we go. And here into audio, I can upload an actual audio or just insert for my URL. So this is like an image comparison, of course, um, if I wanted to edit the before and after, like a slideshow you, you might say. I scroll all my way down and I have another slideshow. So I hit into upload and here are my elements. And the actual slideshow is actually working. So lastly, uh, here into learn more, I uh, just want to make sure that this button is sending me into the place that I want people to go with. So here into learn more, let's say that I'm an affiliation affiliator into Amazon. So here into amazon.com, for example, I want to look out for a her removal. There we go. So I just need to find something related to my product. Let's say, for example, I don't know, maybe just for this, the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to choose the first one. So just assume that this is my actual uh, website or the payment section, whatever. Hit into paste, I hit into apply, and boom, there we go. So lastly, I now hit into save, save once again. I hit into view, view my site, and this one should be taking me into the live version of my WordPress uh, website. So here it is, my product. Here's the video that we just added, the comparison one, Here's my chapter one, more images, the slideshow, the chapter two, and the buy button of the learn more. So I click here and this one sent me into Amazon. So it actually works. This is how we can get started with the blocks editor of the WordPress. And there's actually like a lot, a lot, a lot of things that we didn't cover, but you can just go ahead and be creative, go into the toggle blog inserter and you can choose any kind of media blocks and patterns that out of course into the free version so with that being said guys i think we've not covered the basics of how we can get started here into the editor of the wordpress so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you actually want to see more amazing tools here into the wordpress thank you so much for watching the video and well with that being said i'll see you on the next video